Hey guys, Assalamu alaikum and welcome back to my channel. So today is the day that I finally get to sit down and share with you guys my first trimester recap. I'm currently in my second trimester. I actually wanted to be done with the first so I can give you guys the full on details, my symptoms, my cravings, what I was feeling. This is actually my first pregnancy through IVF. Thank God, alhamdulillah. Um, if you guys don't know, I have been sharing my entire infertility journey on my YouTube channel. And for those who are new to my channel, Muhammad and I have actually gone through three and a half years of infertility. So you can imagine how happy and excited we're feeling that this is actually a success after IVF, alhamdulillah. So if you would like to know more about our story or even IVF journey, it's all on my YouTube channel. Just make sure to check it out. There are a bunch of videos with a lot of information and it can be overwhelming, but we try to break it down as easy as possible so you guys would be able to understand. So obviously as I was planning for pregnancy and to go through the entire IVF journey, my doctor did recommend to start taking pre Needles months ahead. So the pre needles that I started taking was rituals and it's super important for mamas, uh, those who are planning their pregnancy to start taking their prenatals beforehand and also while you're pregnant. Uh, the reason why I love this brand in particular is because they are vegan. As Muslims, obviously, we want to make sure that there is no sort of pork products in our capsules. So knowing that they are vegan just made me feel more comfortable. Also, Rituals Essentials Prenatal Multivitamins is formulated with 12 key nutrients with an evidence-backed formula in high quality. And another cool feature is a delayed release capsule design. It's actually designed to dissolve later in less sensitive parts of your stomach. So you're able to take it with or without food. And Rituals was kind enough to give me a discount code to share with you all. So if you are planning on starting a family, I suggest you guys try Rituals Prenatal Multivitamins. They are amazing. My discount code is Amaya20 for 20% off your first month. All right, so now I'm going to get started on the symptoms that I experienced in my first trimester. And the first thing I wrote down on my phone is how tired I became in my first trimester. Oh my God, guys. I have never in my life experienced this type of exhaustion, fatigue, just, just overall low energy in my life like I have in my first trimester. And I'm not gonna lie, I didn't believe this was a thing. Uh, when my friends would discuss their symptoms, you know, early on in their pregnancy and they would cancel plans because they were tired or just didn't want to do anything because they were tired, in my mind, I'm like, oh my god, you're just being dramatic. But actually, they were not. <laughs> like, it's so real. Um, I would say I experienced fatigue as early as five, six weeks into my pregnancy, which is when I actually found out that I was pregnant. Um, I noticed that I didn't want to get up from bed. I didn't want to even like do content on social media. And as you guys know, social media is pretty much my job, but I had no desire in me to get up and film or take pictures or, or even put makeup on. I was just a couch potato for the first three months of my pregnancy and I became so worried because I was telling Muhammad like, oh my god, like, is this the feeling that I'm going to have throughout my entire pregnancy? It's, it's horrible. I hate feeling like I have no energy or no desire to get up and, and get glammed up or get pretty and go out. But let me tell you this. The second trimester gets so much better. So if you're experiencing symptoms like me early on in your pregnancy, don't be sad, don't be alarmed. It's just, I guess, a normal thing that we all go through or some of us will go through. Generally speaking, the second trimester is beautiful compared to the first. <laughs> and the second symptom I experienced was tender and swollen breasts. I would say very similar to like when you are on your period, you know how like early on you know you're getting your period or it's coming because your, your breasts tend to get a little um, like tender and sensitive. Well, I experienced that as well. Um, I would say like week six, seven, eight. It lasted a while for me actually. 
where it, it was just so uncomfortable because they were super sensitive and if I would bump into anything, it would really hurt. Um, I know this is TMI, but it's super normal if you experience that as well. Um, it's just one of the symptoms early on when you are pregnant. Another symptom that no one warned me about was constipation. Dude, it was awful. And I had no idea if it had to do with IVF medication or just like early pregnancy symptoms, but it was so awful. Constipation was not fun. Um, I would be in constant pain, if I'm being honest. But later on, I would say around week, um, I don't know, maybe week 10 or so, it got better. But yeah, it was very uncomfortable while that lasted. Another symptom that I experienced was mild cramping and spotting. I would say this happened as early as five to six weeks into my pregnancy. I noticed light spotting and cramping. Uh, the spotting didn't freak me out as much as the cramping though. I don't know why. I think because I heard about spotting early on, but I I never really heard about cramping and it felt very similar to my period cramps. Um, I know we all experience various symptoms around our periods, but my cramps are so painful, um, borderline, like I need to stay at home and not move and not make any plans. So when I had that feeling, I was like, oh, oh, doctor, <laughs> listen, this is hurting a lot. And she's like, it's okay, don't worry about it. Come over tomorrow to my office, I'll check it out. But usually it's called implantation, um, what is it called? It's called implantation cramping. But light spotting is normal and mild cramping is normal. Anything that really causes too, too much pain or you see a lot of blood is something that maybe you should get checked out immediately. The next symptom I experienced that was so uncomfortable was nausea. When I tell you, I lost weight in my first trimester because of all of the nausea I experienced, I'm not kidding. And at some point, I started getting really worried because I couldn't keep anything down. Anything I ate for some reason would make me want to gag, would make me want to stop eating. Um, and it was so awful until my doctor recommended crackers. When she said the word crackers, I went straight <laughs> to the grocery store and bought a pack of salted crackers. And I kid you not, I ate that for three months straight. And I was not sick of it and I wasn't tired of eating it. I probably ate like five packs or more a day because it was the only thing that I could hold down and it wouldn't bother my stomach. Anything that wasn't water or crackers, I couldn't hold down. But that was the reason why I lost so much weight in my first trimester. I mean, I didn't look pregnant until maybe like recently. <laughs> because now I can actually eat and trust me, I can hold everything down. <laughs> I'm like eating everything. Uh, but yeah, the first trimester was, ugh, it was so bad when it came to food. I, I felt so bad for my baby. I'm like, I felt like horrible because I'm like, if I'm not eating, then he's not eating and then he's not growing. I would just like, you know, just make up scenarios in my head. But apparently a lot of women go through this and it's normal to experience nausea at some point, at some degree. Uh, but mine was just like, it was awful. It was so, so bad. Now this is really funny because even though I experienced nausea at its worst, it never led to me throwing up. So my first trimester, I kind of felt weird. I'm like, is this normal that I'm not throwing up? I mean, I know one of the earliest signs of pregnancy is throw up, right? Like vomiting. It's weird to say this, but I really wanted to experience that. I really wanted to experience vomiting because that's what like that's what you hear about see in the movies like oh my god she threw up she must be pregnant like <laughs> you get what i'm saying so i know it sounds super weird and i mean in hindsight i feel like blessed that i didn't have to go through that um, the only thing i noticed that got me close to it was every morning when i brushed my teeth for some reason it would make me want to gag um and it's something that i've never experienced before like brushing my teeth it's it never made me feel that way but for some reason the first trimester i was 
very um, cautious with the way I was uh, brushing my teeth. Even now, I don't have that feeling. I can brush my teeth and it's like totally normal. But the first couple of weeks, um, actually my entire first trimester, it was a constant feeling of wanting to, of, of gagging. Okay, this next symptom, I find it funny now, but it was not funny then. Okay guys, I have never <laughs> burped so much in my life or even been gassy this much in my life like I was in my first trimester. Again, this is TMI completely, but I wish someone warned me about that, that possibility of it happening because it seemed like whatever I drank, whatever I ate, I was just burping, like burping left and right. <laughs> and that was extremely gassy. And I'm like, this is this is so not me. This is not Omaya. And even Mo was like, what is happening to you, woman? <laughs> He's like, this is, I, I hope this is the baby and not you. So I went to my doctor and told her about it. And I had this like concerned look on my face and she started laughing. She's like, Omaya, this is, yes, 100% not you, but the babies. It's completely normal. Don't worry about it. It's not going to last all of your pregnancy. Uh, well, some women will experience it throughout their entire pregnancy, uh, but she's like, maybe you, you won't. It'll stop after your first trimester, and it did. Because the second, I'm telling you, is so much better. I I feel like a glow in happiness, alhamdulillah, like so, so happy. But the first one was like, if you saw my face, like if I had the energy to show you guys how I felt, <laughs> you, I would be like this. Or sleeping like either like sad or sleeping it was so different from this stage in my life right now okay so last but not least let's talk about cravings you always hear that pregnant women have the weirdest cravings um, they don't make sense and I'm here to tell you that it is true we do have weird cravings however mine I wouldn't say is as weird as some of my friends or family members cravings uh, like my mom said she wanted to eat dirt and i'm like what what do you mean you wanted to eat dirt and she's like i never actually got to eat dirt it's just like that smell after it rains like that smell that the dirt has she had a desire to eat it and i just thought that was so weird uh, but i understand now what she means by it not that she, not that I want to eat dirt, but like when you when you have something in your mind that you're like, oh, that sounds good, you have to have it. Like th there's no explanation other than go get it. <laughs> there's no reasoning behind why you're craving what you're craving. It's just like something that stays in your mind until you're having it. So for me, it was sour food, like sour sweets foods. Um, salty food, salty chips, anything salted, I would just like, my mouth would start watering immediately. And one of my go-to snacks was just eating a whole lemon with salt. Oh my God. <laughs> I can't believe my mouth is watering right now. But legit guys, a whole entire lemon or lime and I just sprinkle some salt on it I would devour it in like two minutes it was so good so either lemon with salt or I would have pomegranate squeeze a bunch of lemon and put salt on it as well and no joke I was having that like every single night every single night of my first trimester um, safe to say I don't crave it anymore I mean, maybe I might have it after I finish filming this video because for some reason talking about it just made me super excited. But honestly, in my second trimester, I, I think I've had it like once or twice. I didn't really care for it. I have to say, I am so happy that I am done with my first trimester because it was not enjoyable. Um, other than just like sleeping all day and resting all day. And it was probably the first time that I gave myself a break. Not because I wanted to, but because I felt like I had to since I had no energy for anything else. Um, I it, it was really nice to just like lay back and relax. 
um, and just like chill, you know, like not have to worry about filming or taking pictures or creating content. It was really nice to have that time to myself. Um, but I want to hear more about you guys and your cravings and your symptoms and what you were feeling in your first trimester. Please share it with me and with all of us because I love going through the comments and reading to see if you have any similarities or like just even read about crazy cravings. I think they are so funny because you can't even like make it make sense. <laughs> I understand this feeling now. Thank you guys so, so much for your kind and sweet words. It means like the world to me. It means so much to me. The fact that you guys are like watching the videos and even taking your time to write sweet messages. It's so kind of you guys and I really appreciate it so, so much. And I'm so excited to share more videos with you all. Muhammad and I are planning on baby shopping next week inshallah so this would be the first time that we go out and buy clothes for a baby boy inshallah so i'm really excited about that we should probably focus on essential clothing rather than cute clothing i don't know tell me guys what is it that i need to look for for baby clothes uh because i have no idea and even though i do like research from time to time i get super overwhelmed because i feel like the the baby market is so humongous and there's just so much out there and I don't know what's necessary and what isn't. So getting your help would mean the world to me. So thank you guys so much for watching today's video. And again, if you would like to give Rituals Prenatal Multivitamin a chance, I have a 20% discount code, OMAYA20, for your first month. And let me know how you like it once you try them. Thank you guys for watching today's video. I love you so much and I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.